What's up guys, it's Jeff with I Download Blog. We're gonna talk about XBMC on the Apple TV. This is a jailbroken Apple TV. This is gonna be mainly a, just a walkthrough of some of the features that you can expect with XBMC. You see all the options here, videos, music, add-ons, settings, favorites. Notice the RSS feed scrolling at the bottom. That is I Download Blog. So this is really nice. And this is a theme that I'm using and it's called Refocus. You can change the themes as you wish in XBMC. Here are some of my favorites. I have ESPN, Hulu, YouTube, PBS, Pandora, or free cable and these are just a few of the different plugins that you can use with XBMC now I'm loading up Pandora and Pandora can be configured using uh, the add-on utility in XBMC I can actually show you how to do that how to configure add-ons in another video but right now I'm just going to try to just show some of the features that you can expect from XBMC and this works just like the desktop version of Pandora or your iPhone version you can thumbs up thumbs down you can play pause you can even bring up this little uh, visual display of your music planes which is really nice so you can expect a pretty comprehensive uh, experience with Pandora on XBMC let's slow up another plugin how about ESPN this is probably my favorite plugin being a sports fan you can catch a lot of live events uh, on ESPN, you can even replay certain events up to 120 days old. Um, there are no live events going on right now, but let's look at some of the replays from 10 days, from the past 10 days, rather. And let's see what we have here. This takes just a little while to load up because there are a lot of events. So just be patient on this portion. There we go. There are all the different types of sports, basketball, boxing, cricket. Let's look at soccer and load up soccer here or football for everyone else outside of the United States. And here is uh, ESPN loading all the different matches that we have here. And you can just replay any of these. I mean, there's tons of different matches from all over that you can enjoy, you can replay. And really replaying them is e as easy as just clicking on them with your Apple TV remote. So let's find a particular event here. Let's try, I don't know, let's, let's give this one a shot. So if you just click enter on the remote, it'll open the stream for you. And it pretty much starts playing immediately. I mean, it's it may take a little while to buffer depending on your internet connection. We're not going to play a lot due to copyright reasons, but that does show you how easy it is to watch a video on ESPN, all your favorite sporting events. And there are lots of events there. I mean, if you have a local team that you follow, chances are it's going to be on ESPN, especially if it's like a college team or something of that nature. Now let's try out YouTube, which of course is going to be one of my favorite features of XBMC, and it's really nice on here. In fact, you can actually download YouTube videos directly to XBMC and watch them later. So here's one that I downloaded from a while ago, Command Spot. That's one of our videos that we just recently uploaded to YouTube. And there it goes in full screen glory. It looks really good, actually. It's full 720p and um, just what you would expect um, from a YouTube video. So you can do that, or you can do a search and actually start searching. The searches work a lot better if you have uh, like an iPhone keyboard such as Remote HD. You can actually search things a lot quicker because you can type it in with the virtual keyboard instead of using your remote. So here are all the search results for Blue Troll. Of course, we did a video on Blue Troll. It is the top video there. So we can just click on that and that should open the YouTube stream for that particular video and we can watch a little segment of Blue Troll. So YouTube works really well on XBMC, and if you're a big YouTube fan, you're gonna really enjoy this. Um, there are options, you can of course pause, you can um, you know, rewind, fast forward, you can even adjust video settings, audio subtitle settings, bookmarks, get subtitles, and here's some of the video settings for some of you ones that like to really go in depth with adjusting the style of video or how the video looks on your screen. So that is YouTube on XBMC. It is definitely worth checking out if you're a YouTube fan at all. And also, like I'm, like I'm showing you here, you can actually watch your videos while the overlay of XBMC is there. Now, it does kind of slow down a little bit. It's a little laggy uh, because you are working with an Apple TV too, which is sort of, um, I guess, limited in its capabilities, I guess, from a RAM and from a pro processor perspective. But really what you get here is pretty amazing with just that little $99 box. So let's check out PBS 
And I'm really just randomly selecting things here. But as you can see, there's tons of content. That's just what I want to portray to you guys, how much content that you can gain by jailbreaking your Apple TV and running XBMC on it. Not only do you get the benefits of just jailbreaking your Apple TV that I showed you in the last benefit video. If you haven't seen that, make sure you check that out. But you also get XBMC, which is really the key to gaining lots and lots of content. I mean, if you're a cable cutter, this is what you need. Seriously, folks, this is what you need. So there is a lot of different content under PBS, and this is just one of the plugins that you're gonna find here on uh, XBMC. So let's head back to our home screen and let's check out Hulu. Now, we're not gonna watch any Hulu videos. I've actually already showed you how to get Hulu directly on your XBMC installation in another video. So check that video out if you haven't seen it, but this is just to show you Hulu running on this particular theme on XBMC. So let's exit out of there. And really, there's just so much to this, folks. I highly recommend you check it out. Here are some of the settings. These are just some of the settings that you can adjust on XBMC. And as you can see, it's super in-depth. So let me know what you guys think. Would you like to see more videos to show you how to set this up, how to install plugins and whatnot? Let me know what you guys think in the comment section. This is Jeff with the iDownload blog.